Hey everybody, it's the Lazy Wizard. I've had quite a few people ask me to make them a nozzle for the Sculptfun S9, and I'm very glad they've been very patient because it took me a good while, but I'm very happy with the design I've come up with now. It's the tiniest nozzle that I've made, uh, but it performs, or it should perform exactly the same. It's got the same orifice hole size, same air inlet. It's just tiny. But that's because of the way it needs to mount in the Sculptfun S9. So the Sculptfun module, I don't have it on hand. I've got a different module here that's similar. It's got the same air vents as what I've designed here. But it's got a recession. So with each of my nozzles, I'm going to include two of these adapters. And the reason for that is if you take that laser shielding out, then this will slip into that recession and this nozzle slips into this hole here and I recommend first sticking this nozzle in it goes right in I'm try to make it as tight as possible uh, but still you know fairly easily insertable and then what you do you push it back out just a hair and you stick this o-ring right in there it fits just perfectly and you're gonna need to hold it upright take your module and stick it on so you don't lose the positioning of this o-ring and then while holding the module against it flip it over and I would push the nozzle down as far as you can to compress the o-ring and then tighten the set screw on the side um, that way it Compresses this, holds it in, and also compresses the nozzle a little bit. That should keep it airtight, perfectly centered, and performing well. Now, the reason I include this uh, adapter here, this one's a little bit smaller, and this will actually fit inside the ID of that cylindrical laser shielding. So what I recommend as a first project, you could use your laser to cut out a hole in the side of that tube. Um, that way you can run the air inlet. That's really what you need clearance for. So I offer both options. They are both included. So if you just do away with that laser shielding, if you don't want to modify it, then you stick it in this adapter and you stick it on. I've designed the vents to match the vents that are on the module so that they restrict the airflow as minimally as possible um, and you can stick this on no modifications needed to the shielding it'll work but if you don't mind cutting a hole on the side of it then with this adapter you can use you know this nozzle slip it into that hole stick it on your module and tighten everything down should be good to go so these should be available up in my Etsy store I'll put up the listing tonight and hopefully I get some good customer feedback um, thank you guys for bearing with me um, I'm always very happy to offer nozzles for any laser module uh, I've quite literally made nozzles for every module that I've been asked for um, I still have a few on the to-do list there's been one only that I've made and I've kind of stopped making because the module comes with variances. But if there's any module you have that you want me to make a nozzle for, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to make the best that I believe I can make that a diode machine should have. Thank you again. Okay. Thank you guys again. And hope to see you guys soon in another video.